My name is Tim Reeves. My profession is a landscaper. I'm pretty passionate about woodworking, so you could say that was one of my pastimes. Uh, one of the largest projects woodworking would be restoration of my barn. When I first bought the property, the barn, you could pretty much toss a stone and not hit a single board. So there wasn't much left of it when I started. And so I stripped everything off that was unusable and pretty much started from scratch. Some of the processes that I had to go through restoring the barn was rebuilding all of the stud framed walls on the upper level, utilizing what I could that was usable and then replace it with new lumber where it was needed. Once the stud framing was complete, the next step in that process was to sheathe the outside with a T111 siding. I used a pre-painted T111 sheathing. After the sheathing was installed, trim boards made of cedar were installed, covering edges and corners uh, to create a cleaner, neater, finished look. The next step in, in redoing the barn was installing some windows on the exterior so I could get more daylight within the barn. I located six windows that were used and I positioned those uh, equally around the barn to allow as much daylight in as possible. And the next step of the process was working on the interior. The first thing I worked on was installing a set of stairs to access the second level of the barn. One of the other steps within refurbishing this barn was to completely redo the north end of the barn, which was rotted away. The secondary floor and the exterior wall was next to non-existing. One of the biggest challenges of this barn was that it was built approximately 100 years ago. Once I was on the inside of the barn, there were a lot of interior structural items that needed to be taken care of. A portion of the secondary floor was rotted away and the northern outside wall was also rotted away. So the first thing I did was to shore up the hand-hewn beams in this old barn to make sure everything was secure before I proceeded with any other construction. I did that by pouring concrete footers to set the beams on to hold them up out of the ground and secure them with cross members. Once the structure of the building was secure, I proceeded to replace the flooring on the upper level of the barn and the northern wall so that I could completely enclose the lower half. In the process of refurbishing the north end of the barn, I needed access into the barn with larger pieces of lumber. So I devised a way to create a rolling door that would open eight feet wide to allow me to access it with larger pieces. I took on this large project for the mere fact that I like working with my hands. I've always liked woodworking, never had an opportunity to to do it for a living, and it's something that I enjoy tremendously. I get enjoyment out of taking something that is just a pile of lumber and envisioning what I see, the potential in that pile of lumber, and, and creating something that uh, I can look back on and be proud of. Will I ever be finished with the barn? I doubt it. It's something that I'm always seeing potential in, always seeing new things that I could do to it to improve it, or to even just change it from what I've been used to over the years. Even though the barn will probably never be done for me, new projects are always something I'm out looking for, um, not necessarily beyond my own home. Uh, I enjoy improving the elements within my house, redoing the laundry room, redoing the upstairs, or just small cabinetry that's needed built or furniture that needs refinished, such as this table right here. Thank you.